Matthew chapter 15, verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, notice here what she says, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. You're going to notice they said this every time. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But a lot of compassion there, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you, these, these 12 here, they, they weren't the cream of the crop, okay? And, but he answered, well, verse 24, But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Somehow she got through the crowd. Somehow she got to him, started worshiping him, and saying, Lord, help me. Now, well, don't have time to go much further. But you have to understand, she was looking for help, and she knew he could give it. Amen. Right? And, but he answered, verse 26, and said, it's not right to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Now, that sounds awful, you know, pretty bad, but at that time, dogs were anybody that weren't Jews, and, they, and it wasn't just a woman. It was anybody. As a matter of fact, Paul even warns them later, beware of dogs and this kind of thing. And so it was talking about certain, it was talking about Gentiles, basically. And so it says, it's not right to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, truth, Lord. That, you're right. That's truth. Yep. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. In other words, that's right. And I'm not asking for a lot. All I need is a crumb. And she didn't get offended. And she said, but it is right that the dogs eat the crumbs. She goes, I, I, I get it, but I need a crumb. But now notice what Jesus said. He said, it's not right to take the children's bread. He didn't say, woman, I'm not going to give you what you're asking for. He said, it's not right to take the children's bread. What does that mean? That means that the children, this is their bread. Healing and deliverance is their bread. Well, what did Jesus say? Give us this day. Amen. Healing is daily. Amen. Amen. So now notice, then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as you desire. The word there in the King James is wilt, but it literally means as you, are, as you will or as you desire. As you, actually, even the word means even more than that, as you greatly earnestly desire. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Now notice her daughter wasn't even there, but she got delivered of a devil from a distance. And Jesus didn't even say, uh, devil, come out. He didn't even say that. See, these are all religious ideas that we have that we have to say it this way. Why? Because we think the formula, there's power in a formula. We think that if we say it this way, and because of that, we're, we're just one step from witchcraft. Why? Because we think it's a spell, it's an incantation, that we got to say the right word, the right way, and then half the time we're not even sure if it's God's will. And we have to realize that, that Jesus, many times when he dealt with the Roman centurion, he didn't even tell him, uh, you know, that your servant's healed in that sense. He didn't even say, uh, servant, be healed. He didn't give that. But now notice, he granted, now get this. This is what I want to get across. He granted this woman's request. Isn't that right? See, I, as I started reading this, it started coming to me. Because I've been ministering to the sick for, you know, 30 years, 30, almost 40 years now. And I've noticed many, many times, and many of you that I have laid hands on or prayed for before, you've heard me say this whenever I was ministering to you. I would say, what can I do for you? You would give me some problem going on in your life, a sickness, disease, whatever it is. And many times I would say, uh, Father, I thank you for permitting me to participate in your victory over your enemy of sickness or disease. And then I would look at the person and I'd say, I grant your request. And when I say that, they get healed. Why? What am I doing? I'm granting their request. Why? Because I am representing the king who has granted their request. Why? Because if they hear me, they hear him. Right. Jesus said that. Right. So I speak for him. 
Now, the thing is, my job is not just to speak to you for him. My job is that if you're a believer, my job is to train you to speak for him, which means you have to speak like him and you have to say things he said. And you can't talk like a man. Why? Because you're not representing a man. You're representing God. So you have to talk like God. And when you talk like God, guess what? People get upset. Well, who do you think you are? Well, it really doesn't matter who I think I am. It's who he thinks I am. Amen. Amen. And I know who you think you are because you don't think you're who he thinks you are. Amen. You can sort all that out if you want to. All right now. <laughs> <laughs> 